today's video, we will be talking about this shotgun microphone from Sony, which is the Sony ECM P10. Oh, wait, I think it's better if you use this one. Okay, I think this one is better. Alright, let's do it again. Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, we will be talking about this shotgun microphone from Sony, which is the Sony ECM P10. As you can see in here, we are outside the balcony for us to really test out the capabilities of this microphone. So if you are new here to my channel, my name is Paolo Marasigan and I do tech-related contents. I also do contents on Instagram, so follow me there as well. The Sony ECM B10 is not your ordinary shotgun microphone. This shotgun microphone from Sony can help you immerse your audience because this Sony ECM B10 uses this beamforming technology, but more on that later. So, first, let's talk about overall design of this shotgun microphone. They are small and lightweight, so perfect for carrying with your camera. The length of the shotgun microphone is good enough so as not to be included when you are using a wide-angle lens. The Sony ECM B10 has also a built-in shock mount so it will reduce the noise when you are handling or carrying your camera. So that is perfect for on-the-go vloggers to help you in recording a clean audio. Also, it is using the MI Shoe connection. Because of this digital connection, you don't need to worry about the wires and the cables connecting your microphone to your camera. It will also use the battery of your camera, so one less thing to worry about. Now, let's proceed with the controls available at the back of the microphone. So first is the digital and analog settings. So most of the newer cameras of Sony uses the MI Shoe connection. It uses the hot shoe of the Sony camera, in this case, my Sony A7 IV, and digitally process the audio, which delivers high quality without degradation. Just plug and play and you are good to go. So check the Sony website if your camera is compatible to use a digital connection. Now for the best part of this microphone is it uses a beamforming technology that can pick up or record audio in three different directivity patterns. So I'm gonna do some testing on these three different directivity patterns. So right now we are recording in super directional which is directed in front and it's the one you're hearing right now. So this is me talking directly in front of the camera. So this is me talking directly on the left side of the camera. So this is me talking directly at the back of the camera. And this is me talking on the right side of the camera. For super directional directivity pattern, this is good for vlogging, interviews, and talking heads like this. We are now in unidirectional, which is also directed in front, but it will be picking up some additional background noises. So this is me talking directly in front of the camera. This is me talking directly on the left side of the camera. This is me talking at the back of the camera. This is me talking on the right side of the camera. So for the unidirectional setting, this is for talking heads like this and you are interviewing multiple speakers or a panel and you want to cover a little bit of your background. Last is the omnidirectional which records audio in 360 degree spectrum. So this is me talking directly in front of the camera. This is me talking directly on the left side of the camera. This is me talking directly at the back of the camera. This is me talking on the right side of the camera. So for omnidirectional pattern, this is best for vlogs with two-way conversations where you are talking to someone in front and you are talking at the back of your camera. Also, this is good for capturing the 360 degree of your environment like parties, events, weddings, nature. Okay, so we are still using the omnidirectional and for this particular scenario, I believe this is perfect for us tech content creators. And that is when we are doing an unboxing. So right now, as you can see, I'm currently recording or facing my camera in front of the item, but the microphone can still pick up my voice very clearly. So this is perfect for doing unboxing videos like this. Actually anything while the camera is pointing on your subject while doing the vlog. Now I'm talking again using the super directional pattern 
as I go along with this video since I believe this setting is the best for this type of setup. The next thing that we will be talking about are the different filters available on this microphone. So right now you are hearing the noise cut filter. That is because I am outside and I don't want to record some of the background noise. And I want to focus the recording on my vocals. Okay, so I turned it off. So it will pick up a lot of ambient sounds. Sounds like this from your air condition unit. You hear that? But we have the last setting, which is the low cut filter. So right now we are in low cut filter, which will reduce some of that background noise like the one from the air condition unit in other ambient sounds. We can proceed with the next, which is the ATT mode. This ATT mode can help you choose between different audio levels of recording from 0 decibels to minus 10 decibels all the way up to minus 20 decibels. Right now, we are recording in minus 20 decibels because of my background noise and I want to reduce most of that background noise. I've changed it to minus 10 decibels and it will pick up some of the background noises. Now I change it to zero decibels so my voice will be louder but also my background noise. So I change it back again to minus 20 decibels. Currently we are recording in auto mode and there's a manual mode if you really want to. You can use the manual settings if your audio levels are really picky. Right now we are in manual mode and recording on level 3. Right now we are still recording in manual mode and increase the level to 5. So my voice will become louder same as my background noise. Right now we are still in manual mode but recording on the highest level which is the level 10. So my voice will be louder same as my background noise. Now changing back to auto mode since I think this is the best settings currently as we are outside my balcony. The last thing we're talking about is the windscreen. So I think this is an underrated part of the microphone which I think is important especially if you are outdoors. It really reduces wind noises which is perfect if you are outdoors on a setup like this. As a content creator, using this microphone gets me excited to do different kinds of contents. And I believe this microphone is versatile enough on a type of content creator that you are. Different settings or the beamforming technology will help you immerse your audience from your content. Which type of content creator you are, this shotgun microphone from Sony has got you covered. Okay, so thank you guys for watching my video. If you like it, please give it a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already and smash that bell to get notified when I upload new videos. So, kandito na lang muna guys. Talk to you soon.